The Florida Trail, stretching 1,500 miles through swamplands, pine forests, and freshwater marshes, started with its first blaze in the Ocala National Forest in 1966. This varied landscape is home to all sorts of critters like alligators, black bear, and so much more. Today, you join me on my solo struggle through this section of the trail. Good morning, folks. I slept really well. I just took off the rain tarp real quick, letting it dry in the sun a bit. I'm avoiding most of the sun here in the tent, so it's not warming up too much. Just taking it easy so far. And they're doing just over 12 miles yesterday, and I have about 14 in store for me today. My blisters are improving, if I'm being honest. This one is healing up despite another day of walking. This one still hurts a little, but it's healing even through it all. So, gonna pack up here in a bit. And then I'll get back on the road. And voila, we're ready to go, leaving no trace once again. I really enjoyed this spot here, underneath the canopy. The Florida Trail crosses here, maybe 200 feet, 300 feet away from me. But there was plenty of privacy. I've actually not passed a single person yet on the Florida Trail, so it's been a lonely experience. It's expected to get around 87. Fahrenheit today, so it's going to be even hotter than the last two days. Plenty of humidity still, so I'm going to be sweating, but I got 14 miles today, so might as well get started. Back on the Florida Trail, you can see into my spot, just a little bit there. Ooh, she was a good one. Slept many hours. Definitely needed it. So far, the boots are feeling better today. I'm optimistic about this 14 miles. A lot of gorgeous views like this one, folks. Come check out the Florida Trail. There's this really cool moss or lichen that's growing in very specific spots here along the trail. I wonder. Yeah, it's not fuzzy, it's very firm. It reminds me of the moss in Norway actually which would be surprising it must be a distant relative completely different environment I would argue but super cool nonetheless here's some more just growing along the trail love that As you can see, I was coming down the trail here, and I found the first bench in over 20 miles here on the Florida Trail. It's a real old one too. I imagine it predates the trail itself. But you can see on the sign here, there is a detour, so to speak, to Salt Springs, four miles to grocery store and food and such. That seems far too many miles to be worth it. I've got the food I need. The only thing I would buy would be band-aids, to be honest. I think I'm going to tough it out and keep her moving. I've done about 2.3 miles of my 14 for today. Just past an hour in. It is warming up quickly, that's for sure. Bit of a marsh here. Lots of frogs croaking. We continue. Some really old signs provided by the Ocala National Forest. Timber in the sand pine forest. Can humans do as good a job as nature? What about those scrub jays? <laughs> Interesting placement as well. But you can certainly hear nature surrounding us. Let's keep going.
Ooh, no shade for a while, eh? We just came out over there. I spotted this lovely spot in the shade here. Bit of a breeze coming through. I can enjoy the view of this marsh a bit before I continue along. I've done just over four miles now. About an hour and a half, so making good time. Gonna take a little breather here, water break. Whew. I'm back on my feet. This was a lovely spot. I used this brick here as a bit of a seat. Anything goes, I'll take what I can get. Ended up sitting for a good 20 minutes or so. Gonna get moving again. I got plenty of miles to go and it's just past one o'clock now. All right, we basically walked around the perimeter of this entire marshy area you can see in front of me here. It's taken quite a bit of time, but we should be turning south again briefly here as we head into the forest. We've turned due south now, and you can see this marshy section is extending for a few miles down this way as well. So we're gonna be following along it, I believe, here on the Florida Trail for a bit. It is really hot now, at least 82, maybe 84 in the sun. It is just baking. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Let's keep going. Though. You can see the marsh here still. Took a little breather here below this tree. I'm just under seven miles, almost halfway for the day. Had a quick apple, some water. Gonna try and do another two or three miles before I stop for a proper lunch. And then I'll wait out the heat of the day. Just took a quick break here. We're coming up on the Hopkins Prairie Campground in this general vicinity, quarter mile or so. I'm hoping to have some water or maybe at least a nice place for lunch. We'll hang out there for an hour or so before we finish up the day. Who's that bat? Looks like we got a little bat house right here. That's fun. I think the campsite should be just across here. There's a little trash can at least. That's what we're coming up on. Oh yeah, you can see they have reservations. So this is legit. Bear box. Everything you need. Let's see if there's water I can grab. It's actually quite beautiful here. You can see through to the lake behind. Big trees, lots of shade. Don't know if there's water though. So that campground was a bust for fresh water. You saw the one pump that they had said, agua no potable. I think we all know what that means. Obviously I tasted it anyway, it was super mer mm, like metallic. But I talked to one of the campers, they spotted me half a liter. Life goes on, you just gotta ask. Okay, we leave Hopkins Prairie Campground in the dust. Only half a little, half a liter of water richer, but we're about to turn back onto the Florida Trail. Should be fine. And there it is. Let's get back in some shade, baby. Let's see if I can't find myself a nice lunch spot. The way the branches are just hanging down here is super nice. It's a little tunnel effect. Until you got a duck under. <sighs> Tiny lake here you can walk down to. Doesn't look like you'd want to drink that though. I've gone just under 10 miles now today. It has been about three and a half hours, maybe four. I'm exhausted, but I'm supposed to do another four at least, maybe five into the next spot. 
I'm gonna eat some food here though. I'm gonna relax, wait for an hour at least before I get back in the heat. For lunch today, we're going cold chili with tortillas. Should be just what I need. All right, 30 minute break. Got that can of chili in me and a couple tortillas. Just gonna power out these last four or five miles. And we're just entering into the Juniper Prairie section of the Ocala National Forest. It is so hot. It's about 5.15 now. I'm just trying to get in the last few miles here, but I'm sweating like a dog. So we're gonna be coming this way. Through, 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 and then there's our water tomorrow. We're probably gonna sleep around here. If I can make it all the way. The sign said that this section is the most popular overnight hike in the Ocala National Forest. So that's pretty cool. You can see, starting off, we got a cool effect from all the burned trees, a lot of shrubbery. Let's keep at it. Sinkhole SR19. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Keep following the Florida Trail. Orange blazes all the way. You'd think if it was the most popular hike, they would do something about this. Suppose we'll go around as much as we can. And here's another. I mean, this one isn't even really feasible. Looks like I'll go this way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, I needed a breather after that freaking giant twig situation. Pretty frustrating, but I'm just chilling here underneath this big tree now. This is a potential camp spot, but I'd like to keep going a bit further. I can hear a woodpecker in the background here somewhere. This area is really beautiful. It's a nice change of pace from what we've been seeing earlier, but it's like an obstacle course. Every 50 meters, there's something you gotta go around or over or under. So, I'm so exhausted already. It's taken a lot out of me. But I'm gonna keep going here a bit longer. It's just opened up here, a peak outside of the forest. And I must say, this area has been plenty tempting. Flat space. The sun is setting now soon anyway. I could post up behind that tree for the evening. But I think the trail calls just a bit further. I want to see what's next. We're getting into the golden hour here. The trail is just over yonder, maybe 300 yards max. Found this nice spot here. Underneath a very loud bug cicada, perhaps. I'm gonna set up my tent over in this corner somewhere. Ooh, I am so exhausted. My legs are looking pretty rough as well. Bit of a reaction. That's kind of common for me, not the first time. All right, she is ready to go. 6.30 now, only about an hour 20 or so until proper sunset. You can see now the lighting is just glorious. I am so beat. Let's see how far I went today. So it was 13 and a half miles. Tomorrow, I think I have to do about 14 or 15 as well, so. 
I'm hoping my body has some time to heal here overnight. So I'm feeling it for sure. My blisters are not looking good. This one's taking on a new shape here, coming up over the toe. This one popped on its own today, less problematic. This side, eh, not so bad. Getting a really nice sunset here tonight. I'm just so exhausted. Hopefully I'm feeling a little more rested up for tomorrow. Got plenty more miles. Gonna get some dinner in me here soon and I'll see you in the morning. Peace. Good morning, folks. Just packing up my gear here. It's about 9 a.m. I had a bit of a black bear scare last night. I don't know how close it was, but I would say maybe 20 yards in this direction. You could hear it exhale, and then it was coming closer. Got scared by something. Started darting off in that direction. You could hear like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. So it sounded pretty big, but who knows? It's a little tough to get some sleep after that, but packing up, we're gonna continue nine miles to the Juniper Springs recreation area, and then I'm gonna have my dad pick me up there. Calling it a day early. My blisters are complaining, and I don't really feel like having another bear run in. So that's that. All right, we are ready to leave No Trace once again. It's just before 10 o'clock here. And we are gonna finish up the last seven or so miles of the Florida Trail here on the Juniper Prairie Wilderness. Should be beautiful. Let's get to it. The Juniper Prairies area just continues to impress. Constantly charred trees. It's such a weird vibe. The black against the green, against the white of the sand. Pretty cool. We've come upon the unnamed pond. This was originally where I was thinking I would camp last night. It was about a mile and a half maybe, further than I made it, but my feet were just killing me, so I couldn't. Took my opportunity when I saw it. But you could see, definitely campable over here with a decent view. got quite a little creek crossing here. Watch your step. Oh, this does not feel as stable as I was hoping. But, voila, we made it. I think I've done at least two miles so far today. Woo! Dear Lord. Pretty cool phenomenon here. You can see they've begun to regrow from their fallen charred remains. That is pretty nifty. All along here. This looks to be a pretty nice camping spot here as well. Just along a bit of a lake here, but the trail beckons. I've gone 4.3 miles in just an hour and a half this morning. It's approaching 11.30. Taking a quick break here. Gonna eat an apple, drink my last drops of water, and then finish up strong. And we just came through here. We are on our way out, about 0.2 miles to where I'm being picked up. 
at the Juniper Springs Recreation Area. I'm just very relieved to get out of this heat, if I'm being honest. Sweating like a dog, need something to drink. As you can see, we've got a paved road here going into the campground and the recreation area. My dad should be coming down this road any minute now. I'm just gonna enjoy the shade here. I did call it a day early, but I'm gonna enjoy this as victory nonetheless. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my adventure on the Florida Trail. See you in the next one.